Daryl writes to me and he says, Hey Paul, I've purchased a few high resolution downloads, FLAC and DSD, from various online vendors, including your own Octave Records. What a time to be alive! There's so much great and well recorded music available out there. Indeed there is. And thank you for supporting Octave Records. It means a lot to the musicians that we work with, with our attempt to raise the standards of recording quality for people like us who really care about it. And so I do appreciate your support. Um, I appreciate that Octave provided multiple formats for downloads with my purchase. I was surprised that FLAC was, however, not among them. Later, in one of your videos, oh boy, here we go, you mentioned that you weren't a fan of FLAC because why place an extra decoding step in the chain if you don't have to? I was skeptical, not least because I've spent a fair amount of money on high-res FLAC downloads, which sound great. I ripped one of my CDs to WAV format so I could compare. Surprise, surprise, the WAV file sounds just that tiny bit more natural. Further comparisons seem to be bearing this out. My question is, what the F, WTF, hmm. <laughs> With all the stuff recorded in PCM, everyone's all about lossless flack when we could be listening to WAV. Why? Well, it all has to do with this thing I talk about a lot. That's the way we've always done it. So FLAC, Free Lossless Audio Codec, is a means of compressing in a lossless way. So a file that is, say, one megabyte in WAV winds up being about 600 kilobytes or so in FLAC. FLAC is, is great. It, it losslessly compresses music down to about half the size that it started out. And when you unfold a FLAC file, you get bit for bit duplication of the original WAV file. Now my arguments have been for quite a while with bandwidth and storage being so stupidly cheap. I mean, oh my gosh, what did I just, I just bought a one terabyte drive, terabyte, one terabyte drive, a thousand gigabytes. Think about that, a thousand gigabytes. A gigabyte is a thousand megabytes. I, uh, you know, I, w we could go on. Okay, that's a lot of storage, 50 bucks. For a terabyte? Why would you compress anything into FLAC when for $50 you can have a thousand gigabytes of storage? I, it just, it makes no sense to me. So, whether you, ha however you want to deal with it, I, I, I just object to FLAC because that unfolding of the FLAC file takes computer horsepower. So when you, when you bring a FLAC file into your computer or your streamer or your DAC or whatever it is you have, it has to unfold that. And that's not a nothing process. It's just adding more computerish noise into the stream and that's never good. Take our new DAC, the MK2, the, the direct stream MK2. Everybody's raving about it and all that. What are some of the biggest changes that we made that made that DAC sound so, so much better than its predecessor, the MK1? Lowering the noise. I mean, yes, we did other stuff. Yes, that makes a big difference. But I got to tell you, technically speaking, the MK2 is better by a magnitude than the MK1 mostly because we've galvanically isolated all the inputs and outputs. We've, instead of two regulators, we've got three. Uh, I mean, it's a 14 layer board. All of it, it, all of it involves lowering jitter and noise. So the less processing you have to do, the lower the noise, the better the sound. It's just 
that way. It just works that way. So if you can avoid flack, do so. Wave, um, there's other formats, but let's just stick with wave for the moment, is definitely the better way to go from a sonic standpoint. And that is why. Okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later. Bye.